Well, howdy, 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 y'all. Teresa here, and Bradley's outside. He'll be in in a moment. It is December 7, 2016, uh, Wednesday afternoon. It is 2.35 p.m. Bradley just got back from showering and stuff. He's getting ready to kind of go to work. Well, not kind of go to work, to go to work. Weather is, it is 68 degrees right now. Real fill is 66. The high will be 71, the low will be 50, so it's nice and cool again. Uh, slightly overcast today, um, but another beautiful day um, out. We sat outside for a while this morning and really enjoyed that. Um, let me get out my cheat notebook. Let's see. Yesterday I did clean house before, right before Brad got home. Well, I kind of finished up when, once he got home. Um, and then we did lay down, take naps, and then we went into town and and got mail because I knew I had some lotions I had ordered were in and stuff. And uh, so I want to say thank you for the Christmas card, Marcy, and see the counts. And I will be sending some back your way. Um, and uh, I really enjoyed them. Right, honey? Right, baby. Say hi to everybody. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, 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 I still whoa, need to do it. Whoa, Bradley's going back. Bradley, are you okay? Yeah. Wow, he was going down the stairs. And not intentionally. Not intentionally. You have to kind of really watch him. He kind of stumbles and fumbles and builds stuff. His depth, his depth perception is really bad with his eyes anymore, and I know a lot of you can emphasize with that. So you have to watch when he sets stuff down. He thinks he has it on the counter or whatever, but he doesn't. And uh, it happens. Um, but um, uh, let me see. It was Brad's turn to cook last night. Brad said he didn't want to cook last night. <laughs> so Brad. Hard on dinner. Yeah, he got us some uh, frozen chicken strips, which were horrible. They were they were they were Tyson. Yeah. They were okay, but we're used to mine. Yeah. Um, you know, which are a lot less breading and a lot better uh, tasting. And then he got us some French fries. It was not the most nutritious meal, but hey, you know, <laughs> he worked hard. I'm getting that in a toaster oven there. Right, honey? I did. And, um. Did you tell them you ordered, uh. I haven't yet. Oh. Sorry. I ordered what? The bakeware. Oh, no, I have it. Um, uh, ordered that the other day. Let me finish this. But he did bake chocolate uh, muffins last night in the toast oven, and I worked on the scarf. Um, the other day, also, a couple of days ago, I ended up, we had looked, and it said that this Walmart had um, toaster oven bakeware. In stock. So we went there. They did, of course. They said they could order it in, but it was going to take over a week to come in. Really? First, it gets me that they don't stock items. And it's always whatever is is, is uh, uh, not as expensive is gone. So now we've got this whole thing where everybody can order everything in. But then you're going to take a week to get it in? Really? Now, I know you have shipments coming in all the time. So, I said, no thanks, you know. The just kind of whole thing just kind of cheesed me off. Oh, he's laughing at me. So, I, I found some for the same price online. It's only going to take a couple of days. So, I got that coming in. Because um, we don't have cookie sheets or anything that actually fit in this toast oven. And, and we've been trying to find and trying to find. Of course, every time you check this Walmart, they don't have any in. And it would be nice to be able to actually not have to keep buying all the tinfoil, you know, the aluminum tray ones. Because you only use those so often and then they're no good. So I know first world problem. Well, and then the uh, aluminum tray ones don't fit. Yeah, so you kind of got to squish them in. They don't really fit. They're a little too big, so... Anyway, so that'll be coming in, um, and uh, um, then we kind of do a weird thing. And well, I don't know if it's weird or not, but 
you know, you know what you really want for Christmas, and, you, and when you've been married for a while and stuff, you know what your budget is. So, it's just easier, like, for Brad makes me, he, he's made me out a list of some things he'd like for Christmas, and I just make him a list, but he does one better, okay? He has me find the stuff on eBay and stuff, and I think, okay, well, I'll put it in a cart for him. Then he's like, well, could you just order it? It's like, you're in his line, and you're so much better at that than I am. <laughs> so anyway, um, it, this wasn't part of a Christmas gift, but um, it was always a tradition, all while the kids were growing up, that we watched um, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation every year right after Thanksgiving, usually on Thanksgiving, and we would be decorating. For Christmas. Well, I didn't know that it meant a lot to my children, or at least one of my daughters. She posted the other day on Facebook that that it really wasn't the Christmas really decorating hadn't really begun until you had had this on your TV, and she took a screenshot of the movie. And I thought, and I so I said, oh yeah, do you remember every year? And she's like, yeah, that's why it's a tradition in our house now. That meant a lot to me. And <clears throat> we don't have that movie. We used to have it on on. Uh, VHS. We don't have that movie now, and, you know, I do miss it. It was a tradition. We always watched it, so, but I said, why don't you go ahead and get it? So, it's like a two-pack deal. It had the movie Frosty with it, and I think it was like $8 new, so that's coming in, and then I really wanted Nightmare Before Christmas. I told you guys yesterday that I don't have the movie. I don't know what happened to it. I think I ended up giving it to Emma, or she took absconded it home, with it. absconded with it, so, um, that's part of my Christmas present, gonna be from Brad, and then that Jack Skeleton, uh, posable, um, uh, doll, uh, plush doll, they had some other cute, cuter ones, uh, or cute ones, or short ones, and they're kind of chubby, but, you know, you don't want to be spending too much money, so, uh, that's coming in a pair of the Jack Skeleton slippers. So, you know, and I keep a running total and tell them, okay, now you've spent, you know, that'll be all I'll pick up that, that, that he'll have me pick up. The rest he'll he'll do himself, right? Yeah. And uh, he made a list for me, and uh, and so I'll be picking up a few of these things, and then, uh, um, uh, you know, still finding, looking for, for different things. We don't want to spend very much this year. Um, you know, and this morning I was chatting with, we were chatting with a friend of ours, and, uh, then I was cleaning out my vape stuff because part of it, I was kind of putting it all together and part of it had spilled, a lid had come loose, and that was a big mess, and then you end up cleaning out everything and wiping everything out, and going through everything and you know yeah we talked about how you start doing one thing and it ends up being you know you're cleaning out this and that i'll help you put those on in just a second um uh and uh um if you want to go ahead and get dressed rest way then i'll is that okay with you okay um that was gonna help him put his socks up um still not feeling really myself i don't know if you guys can notice or not i'm not as responsive those of you that are sending messages and stuff, please don't think that it's that I don't care and stuff. Is I'm still working on. I felt a little overwhelmed by life itself, and it's not anything bad. I go through this periodically, um, you know. And I haven't been feeling real perky health wise either. Um, so just kind of bear with me. And if I haven't responded and you've sent me a few texts, just send me another one and go, hey, you haven't responded because. Sometimes in my head, I think I have. So, I'm kind of nervous about going to the doctor tomorrow morning. Are you? Mm -hmm. well, we you, never like that. Can we back up a little bit? Sure. You always struggle um, around Christmas mm -hmm. and then January and February. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I'll get there, I'll get there, you know, I'm like I'm going to the doctor and I'm working on it and a few things in place. Um, you know, that was my subject for today is going over things with your doctor 
if you have to, write down questions and even take notes. I'm not above sitting there when I'm talking with the doctor and even saying and having out a piece of paper and a pen and writing down notes. And a lot of times they're a lot more precise if they know you're writing down notes too. You know, and that way when you get done with the visit, you don't have to wonder about what they said. You know, unless you have somebody else with you that who can kind of, you know, can you get white coat syndrome and it just kind of hear, you hear wah, 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 you know, and you only hear a few keywords. And so that's what we'll be doing, right? Uh-huh. I'm going to be working on that scarf while Brad's at work. And, uh, like, I got to get that, you know, going. Almost had the one side done. So, um, that's about it. Like I said, I feel kind of, I don't know, I feel kind of foggy today. Nine times out of ten, excuse me, my doctor's going to probably poo-poo off this doctor that I may have fibromyalgia, even though other doctors have mentioned it. Not real fond of this doctor. And who knows, she may really surprise me this visit. I don't know. You know? So, anyway, I'm going to let you guys go, so I need to help Brad finish getting ready for work, um, and I love you guys, and I do cherish your friendship, and I did sit down and answer comments last night, yay me, <laughs> <laughs> and I think you guys are awesome, say bye Brad. Bye Brad. <laughs>